Another skirmish this time in college football. The SEC fined Dan Mullen $25,000 and reprimanded the Gators coach for his role in an on-field altercation with Missouri on Saturday. Several players also received half-game suspensions. Ravens Pro Bowl corner Marlon Humphrey tested positive for COVID-19 one day after playing every defensive snap in Sunday's loss to the Steelers. Under league protocols, he'll now miss this coming Sunday's game against the Colts. Now, in addition... More COVID news. Packers running back A.J. Dillon will not play Thursday against the Niners after testing positive. He played a total of 17 snaps in their game yesterday. Cardinals coach Cliff Kingsbury said two players tested positive after the team was on their bye week this week. Those players were later identified as Devon Kennard and Byron Murphy. And the Browns conducted meetings virtually after a player reported experiencing COVID-19 symptoms. Now, as Ashley mentioned, a developing story on SportsCenter sees the injury bug continue to hit the 49ers this season. First quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo aggravated a high right ankle sprain in Sunday's loss to the Seahawks. Sources tell our Adam Schefter the injury is expected to keep him out a minimum of six weeks and possibly longer if it requires surgery. Then, just a couple of minutes after Garoppolo left the field, sources tell Adam that George Kittle suffered a broken bone in his foot. That injury expected to keep the tight end out eight weeks. Kittle leads the 49ers in receptions and yards this season and has been selected to the Pro Bowl each of the past two seasons. NFL senior insider Chris Mortensen is live on SportsCenter with much more on the 49ers. Now, Jimmy G might be ready for the playoffs if the team makes it. Kittle's season is essentially over. So, Mort, what more can you tell us about the impact these injuries have had, will have on the rest of the season for San Francisco? Well, listen, nobody's done a better job of adapting and adjusting to injuries than Kyle Shanahan, the 49ers head coach. I mean, just go take a look. I mean, uh, and, and you got to remember, they, they lost Nick Bosa, their, their best defensive player, in week two uh, for the season with an ACL injury. And now they lost George Kittle, their best offensive player. And Jimmy Garoppolo, of course, is the quarterback. You know, he's not a, a – well, I don't, I, I'm not sure Jimmy Garoppolo has defined himself as a franchise quarterback yet, but he's their quarterback. Uh, and I think the surgery, if he should have a surgery, a surgery on this high ankle sprain, sometimes that can actually expedite him coming back sooner. But either way, he's going to go on IR. He'll be on IR. And it'll be interesting to see what Kyle Shanahan can pull out of his hat for this one. Because I, knowing Kyle, he's not giving in, even though they have a short week here to get ready for the Packers on Thursday night. All right, a tough blow for a team that still has playoff aspirations. More don't go too far. Ashley wants to talk to you about that brawl between the Bears and the Saints. Yes, I sure do. Bears wide receiver Javon Wims has been handed a two-game suspension without pay after that punch right there on Saints safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson. That was in the third quarter of yesterday's game. Now, Wims said Gardner-Johnson spit on him before the punch. The NFL Network reported. Wims was ejected from the game. The Bears went on to lose in overtime. Here's the reaction on that heated moment. NFL senior insider Chris Mortensen back with us on SportsCenter. Now that two-game suspension caught a lot of people off guard. Why did the NFL decide on two games specifically for wins? Yeah, it did surprise a lot of people. I think people wouldn't have been shocked by a one-game suspension. It's just unusual in this case. Uh, John Runyon, a former NFL player, a longtime NFL player, is the vice president of football operations uh, for on-field uh, discipline for the NFL. And he cited two different... Uh, Violations there for unsportsmanlike uh, conduct, including throwing the punch. So the two games came down. Now it's interesting because there's no doubt that uh, Wims is going to appeal, and the appeal will go to one of two uh, appellate uh, officers who are paid by both the Players Association and the NFL. He has told the Bears that that uh, the Gardner Johnson spit at him, and that he's had coronavirus concerns in his family before that. Uh, that's not taken into concern with, by John Runyon, who meted out this discipline. But that's a case he can make to those appeals officers if he can substantiate it. And then they can decide whether they want to reduce that two-game suspension or not. But that will, uh, I'm sure we'll hear shortly that uh, the suspension is going to be appealed. And if he has anything to substantiate that, that uh, Gardner Johnson spit on him, then maybe he can get it reduced. But right now, I think the league's trying to get everybody's attention because everybody seems on edge. We're seeing more. Fist fights, brawls, I think, in the last month than we've seen in quite a while. Yeah, a lot of heated moments in the NFL. It'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. In just a few minutes, you're going to be back with us to let us know how the Patriots are approaching tomorrow's trade deadline. Mort, thanks so much. Ole Miss freshman tight end Demarcus Thomas had to be airlifted to a hospital today 
after sustaining a serious injury during practice. The injury initially left him without any feeling in his body, but Ole Miss said he had regained movement in all of his extremities, and physicians at Memphis Regional Medical Center are optimistic. Practice was stopped early after Thomas's injury, and the entire team waited on the field for a helicopter to arrive. This afternoon, a visibly shaken Lane Kiffin talked about what happened. This was not something normal. So, you know, to hear a player that you recruited and any player, but one that you recruited him to, you know, they keep touching him. Do you feel this? Do you feel this? And he keeps saying no. And you're thinking about your own.